Hi everyone, welcome to Virtual Science Week at the ELC. Today I'm going to talk to you about bees. So I want to first remind you about the parts of a bee. Can anyone remember? You guys at home could try to draw a bee like this. So they have three main parts. First they have a head. And this middle part is a thorax. And then this part is the abdomen. And you can see on their head, they have two antenna. And here's their proboscis. And they have six legs and two wings and a stinger, of course. And there's the word up there. You can sound it out like this. B, E, B, B. E, B. And there's some words that we'll learn about. Pollen, pollination, hexagon, that's a shape, honeycomb, and nectar. At school, we teachers use this book from the Echoes, which is Early Childhood Hands-On Science book. And this one is called Busy Buzzing Bees. So I'm going to show you a couple pictures, just as a reminder. There's a close-up picture of a bee in all their parts. The head and the thorax and the abdomen and the antennas. This is a close-up picture of a honeybee. And here is a picture of a bee collecting some pollen. Has anybody seen some of that yellow powdery stuff on their car or out on the ground? That's all pollen. And bees go from flower to flower to flower, collecting nectar, but they get pollen stuck on their bodies. This process is called pollination. So I have something else really yummy and sweet to show you. Does anybody know what this is? This word right here, H-O-N-E-Y, is honey. I bought this honey at the store, because I like honey. Uh, you know who else likes honey? Bees. Honey bees love honey. Do you think that they go to the store and buy it? Have you ever seen a honeybee at the store? No. How do you think honeybees get their honey? Honeybees make honey by collecting nectar from flowers. Nectar is like the sweet juice that's made by plants. The honeybees, they make honey in their nests. Have you ever seen a nest of a bee? Their nests are called beehives. They look like this. It's a little tricky to see. I hear my squeaky guinea pigs in the background. There's the beehive. Inside the beehive is what's called a honeycomb, and the honeycomb is a hexagon shape, six sides. Can you say that together? Hexagon. So we learned some new words. We learned nectar is the sweet juice from plants, and a bee nest is called a beehive. And they, inside of the beehive, they make some honeycomb, and that's a hexagon shape. All right, I'm going to show you a picture of a hexagon. There's the honeybees in their honeycomb. Can you see all those hexagons? That's a lot of honeycomb. Their beehive is full of honeycomb. 
The Owl Room class probably remembers when we made these little bee models. So look at this poor guy. He was flying around my house and he lost one of his wings. But that's okay, we can, we're gonna talk about this part in the front. So this is a special part of its mouth and it's called its tongue and it's really long and it has little hairs on it and it's called a proboscis. Can you show me your tongue? The honeybees use their long proboscis tongue to collect the nectar from the flowers. So I'm gonna hold my hand out like this. I have five flowers on my hand and it's gonna go from flower to flower to flower. And it's collecting all the nectar have you ever seen a bee go from flower to flower to flower in your garden or when you're outside on a walk? Do you know where the bees take the nectar that they collect? Back to the beehive and they fill up their honeycomb. Those little hexagon shapes. Here is a picture. It's going to be tricky to see. This is where I wish we were in our school. There's a bee collecting nectar from this flower. Let's see, right here, this big long thing. Oh, let's see. Right there, that long thing. That's their proboscis. Now, let's ask, talk to you about what you learned today. Can you remember any of those science words? Okay. What is the name of a bee, honeybee's home? The beehive. And how do honeybees collect nectar? What do they use? Their big long tongue and it's called a proboscis. Uh, has anybody ever tasted honey before? It's really sweet, doesn't it? And we learned about the parts of a bee and that yellow powdery stuff is called pollen. And bees are pollinators, which means they take the pollen from plant to plant to plant and help them to grow. Make sure you share all the things you learned about honeybees with your grown ups. If we were at school, I would give you a scientist badge because you guys learned a lot about bees and then you could put it on your shirt and it says, ask me about bees. So if someone asks you about bees, you could teach them all the words that you learned. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.